Good morning. It is a Monday. It is day 11 of Vlogmas. Welcome. Welcome to those who have come back to me. Well done you. Welcome to those who have seen, popped in for the first time ever. Good luck to you. I have just, I've had a client this morning already. It's 10.20. Mr. Christopher is heading out to see his mum. It's his mum's birthday today. Um, so he made her some um, creamy goodness. So we've always had a um, name when when Chris started doing his. I'm just getting something. When Chris started doing his um, his distilling, um, someone thought I said stilling, like stealing once. I said no, still like brewing, but not brewing because brewing's brewing and stilling is stilling. Anyway, so um, we came up with the name because I saw when he's a plumber, we came up with a stitched up plumber. So I know his mum won't watch. I know his mum doesn't watch this. So this is big. It's too big. I've got to. I've made it smaller. I've got nothing better to do on my days. So that's the beginning. The the front of the um of the Irish cream. So it's stitched up plumbers Irish cream, 100% naturally brewed. Now that's the um that's the picture I've had for Chris since we've been together for his business. That's all. That's on his um on his shorts shirt and jumpers so I embroider onto it and then the ingredients are a little bit of dog's hair a lot of looking for lost items vodka with irish cream goodness finish brewed in a shed of mess with love and swear words nutritional facts alcohol 18 percent fat who cares and protein depends on the dog's hair and down the side which was cut off it said um the use by date is um when it's empty and what's the other thing Oh, net is one litre. So, they've made it smaller so he can stick it onto his, um, so he can stick it onto his bottle. I've printed two, so I don't know which one's going to be better. Cool. I'll work it out. Okay. So, there you go. That's what we've done today. I've got a lot of work to do, work, work. So, I will um, definitely do my make after the work. I want to get some work in. And um, I can use any old scissors to cut paper, eh? <laughs> he thinks he's funny. I know I'm funny. So, would you like me to do it? Because I'll be better at it. I'm trying to like get the thing in the thing. There we go. You probably will be. Oh, so the net value, uh, the net thing in use by is getting cut out because it's it's not fitting on the paper. Yeah. Is that what that is? I yeah, that's it what it was. Oh, it's fine, it's fine. I thought that was All right, so I'll get back to you guys later. Say hello to Mr. Christopher. Hello. Oi. This okay. is me at work, on time. I have been working my little um, fingers to the bone. <laughs> sure I have. Today I have actually let out a shirt for a client um, all the way down from just under the arm, all the way down to the um, hemline. And I took the cuffs off as well and shortened the sleeves by the width of the cuff, which was six centimetres, uh, which meant I had to bump up the split in the sleeve and also... I instead of altering the sleeve and narrow it down the bottom, I just made the uh, the pleat a little bit bigger. So that is what I have done today. I have gone to pick my daughter up. My daughter came home today, not Samuel. Samuel decided to stay with his father a bit longer, um, which is all good. Boys, boys time. Um, him and his big brother, who he fights with all the time anyway. So, <laughs> yay! Right, what am I making for you today? Now I remember. 
remember how yesterday I discovered um, a box of fabrics that um, had fallen into the abyss of my um, fabric come storeroom downstairs. It's not just a fabric storeroom, it is like uh, the dumping zone. And I went in there yesterday looking and hunting for some felt because of today's make. Today's make is what I would call a needle caddy. Okay, it is something that I saw years and years and years ago. I've made one from mum as well, but I've had this on the Geo for so long. I absolutely love it and swear by it. And um, I think Julie from Julie Sews Her Own Clothes was curious of how she should store her needles, know which needles it is and which ones can be used. So what I should do is I should actually stop this, pin this on the wall and explain to you how it works because that is when you see the love and the beauty of this particular um, awesomeness needle caddy. I think I'm using the word needle caddy because caddy is a word that's been thrown around a lot. I'm just pulling my table out. <laughs> shimmer, shimmer. <laughs> I'm not doing a shimmy dance. I'm actually just pulling my table out so I can spin you around or I might have to hide something. One sec. Hiding it through, um, I don't know. Oh, actually, this would be bit better having it on this. Yeah, I'm going to clip it to this. Now, I, at the time, never had grommets. Look at me knowing the word now. And I... So I didn't finish it, but um, thinking about it now, I have grommets, so I can finish it. So I'm just going to spin you. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round. You know that song, Ice, Ice, Baby? I'm going to tell you a little bit of useless information about it, only because Mr. Christopher decided to tell me a little bit of useless information about it. He said, how long, how old do you think that song is? To which I responded, well, 30 years. I was trying to do some real fast maths in my head, what I was up to when that song came out. And he goes, it's 34 years old. He was 16 when he wrote it. I don't know why he has to tell me stuff that makes me feel old. Right, so I'm just going to pin this up here. What if I get some pins? That might be logical. Righty, right, right. Okay, let's just stare at the wall for a minute. This probably wouldn't be the first time I've pinned them to this. Excuse the back of my head. Okay, this is my pin caddy. Needle caddy. Right, I'm going to give you a little drill on how it works. Right, yeah, needles go in here. This is a, a nine. This is a 965, I think it's a 965 too. So nothing in those two. <laughs> Don't know why they're sitting in there. For goodness sake, Stacey Joanne, put stuff away. And then you've got your 10. These are all 10s might make it down to a 12 here yep 1280s that's a 10 that should be up there and you've got 14 so this is a 12 14s so etc so down here you got your stretch jerky needles okay so they're, they're special ones that <gasps> that do stretch what a silly thing to do explain to you what I meant <laughs> And these ones go down 16, and then these ones are my blind hemming machine. Have you guys ever seen one of these? Let me show you. And these, again, they go in sizes as well. Crazy, eh? Bent. It's bent. Oops, where's the thing? There it is. Yeah. 
It's bent. The first time I ever, ever saw one. This is like the first time I ever, ever, ever used a blind hemming machine. I thought, oh God, no wonder it's not working. That needle is so bent. Maybe I was a little bit bent in the head. Huh. So that's a blind stitch. So that goes into there. So what happens is, this is my blind stitch. This is the one that is currently in my blind stitch machine. It's down the bottom. You can see the grey ones, the grey pouch is down the bottom. That's what I'm using now. Okay, someone lazy has just popped that stuff in there. That one, I think, is just a mental one. I actually gave these, the rest of these, to the boys that fixed my machines. I said, give them someone that knows what they're doing because I've ordered the wrong needles. I can be bothered sending them back. Right. So what happens is you come along here and you see there's a couple of needles sitting in there. So you come along and my needles are here actually um, by my machine. So currently on the machine I've got a size 12. So the current, the current needle goes into that pouch there, right? So when I think, oh, what's in my, what's in my machine? Um, I'll have a jump up and have a look. Oh, I've got a 12. I don't want a 12. I want a 14. So then I take a pack of 14 or I grab one that's in the front. What size is that? So it's a 12. So I might, maybe I should use that. I don't know why I didn't. So then, so then I come along and if there's one sitting there, I take that one that's in the front. That's the oldest one or the one that's been used. Okay. I always check it. Usually when I take it out of the machine, I check it. I don't stick it in there unless I think it's okay. And so I just then put that one in the machine, I then put this down here and that gets put away. And whether or not I have one that I've taken out to replace it, so if it was a 10, I'd put the 10 up there and put that behind it. Am I making sense? It is the best way to keep an eye on your needles and your pin, or your needles, and knowing what size they are because there are a lot of sizing and things like that. And in commercial uh, machines, they don't have the color coding on it but then again are we going to remember that so what i am going to do is i've never made myself one of these i'm today going to make myself a domestic needle caddy okay because i don't have one and i'm going to teach you how to make it because um it's so technical i saw a picture i went voila that a lot that a lot gonna make it so today I'm going to make one and I'm going to put grommets at the top instead of those because that was, like I said, before I had grommets. Grommets is the words, guys. So I've got some felt. That's why I went into the room the other day, yesterday, and um, and found that I had 50,000 litres of fabric that I forgot I'd had. Told Queenie about it today. She says, how, how did you forget it? I said it was in, in the abyss. Don't think she's even been in that room. What can I say? So I've got some felt and I'm gonna bring it over. I've got myself some blue. And it's not very well ironed. And it's got some red. I did get yellow, but I thought blue and red would be nice. So I might make red the background Pink would have been nice in here, eh? Silly Stacy. But the reason I use... Come over here. And I don't have to yell. The reason I use felt is because it doesn't need to be overlocked. It's not going to um, fray. And it's got quite a firmness to it. Now, this felt was gifted to me by my mum through someone she knew. Now, I will get out my domestic needles. Ah, empty domestic bobbins, hand needle stitching. Is that the one I want? Is that the one I want? You're the one that I want. One that I really want. Honey, what just fell? Oh, no, oh, it's squashing up. Oh, come on. Mm. Sorry, I've got to take this out one bit by bit because just because. Uh. 
Oh, here I have some here. I got like, it's like, hmm, a little bit messy in here. See, that's how I find them. They're all under there. So wouldn't it be better if I had them in a caddy? For me, I don't use domestics as much as I use um, industrial. But I still have quite a few knitting needles. Uh, mm, sewing needles for it. And for me to have them all in one place would be a lot more logical than me having them in here and having a fight with them. A few needles. It just keeps it tidy, it keeps it all in one place. I'm finding things in here that are definitely not what the packet says. But there's a lot of hand um like needles, normal needles, not machine needles. Hand sewing needles. Um, in here as well. Look, look at this. Look at this one here. It's just sitting on its own. Oh, that is. Oh. So, once we sort out that. Oh, isn't that cute? Look what I found. It would be cuter if I knew how to open it. I'm going to keep it out. I think it's awesome. Oh, there you go. That's what it was. It came from there. It needs to show me how to open them. All right. I want one of these too. Oh, that's got holds. Oh, it's got a needle holder. I think you girls have got some of those opened on your um in one of your advent calendars. Right. So I've got all my needles out. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause you and I'm going to see what needles I have that I need to separate separate and, and make little the little caddy holders for. Okay, so um, I'll be back. In the standard needles we have, we have um, ranging now from size 18 down to a size 9. I have seven different um, seven different sizes. And then in the specialty ones, I have six different specialties. I have overlocking, I have twin, jeans, leather, top stitch, jersey. Okay, so those are the specialty ones. So what I'm going to do is make four rows of four. So I'll give each category eight slots to go in in case I get something else. And then I'm going to do the bottom one, which holds the one that you're currently using so you know what's in your machine. So I'm going to cut that out. There is no real rhyme or reason to it. I'll probably do it about the same size. Yeah, about the same size as the uh, one above it. And I will read, write down those measurements and get back to and tell you what they are. So I have cut a rectangle of 28 by um, 45. Okay, by some blue. And I'm now going to cut strips of four centimeters one two three four four centimeters to make um yeah, let's go continue this way oh goodness gracious me oh it gets flopsy it really annoys me when it's flopsy right so down here i'm just gonna cut um strips of four centimeters centimeters one two three four one right one two three four okay I've got it now in my brain I know where it is right another strip so we want it to go here 
We want it to sit in there like that. So it'll be just, just down the bottom here, it'll be sewn in and you'll be able to see it. Well, I'd, I'd prefer it to be that way up so you can see the size straight away. Not that you guys can. And I'll probably start the first one a little bit down. Grommets go there. So you can hook it up and put it on your pin board or wherever you hang your things that you hang. Okay, so I've got two of those. It's a three. That's an Audi. That was a... Maybe I can make it smaller, but it didn't really work. So, yeah. actually did um brain math wrong okay and um i was thinking i needed because i wanted eight slots i was cut eight pieces of, of um felt so i have done the four i'm going to see if i can fit in one more row just in case there's something special that we want to do so i'm going to remeasure that and see how i go is not he got into a drifted bank and then we got upside oh jingle bell jingle bells jingle so all i am quite happy with the placement of that it um will have the grommet sitting behind it up the top i've got um this this was accident well it wasn't accidentally cut at three i just didn't think three was big enough when i i mean my one's up there at four centimeters i don't think think three centimeters was big enough but i have done the gap between each of them at three centimeters now because i use that as my template so i'm going to now pin them all into place and then i'm going to take you to the sewing machine and um sew them up fun 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 I actually go and sew it I have marked around the border of one centimeter I divided up into well uh. so what I did and you'll see me doing the wrong thing because I didn't re-record it I um, went around the edging put one centimeter all around the edge after I pinned it have a, have a look at the lines okay so i don't know if you can see them there's lines around here that's my one centimeter i'll go around the border first and then i halved it which left me 26 centimeters halved it down here which was 13 and then half that which was six and a half so i'll have four pods on each one not the three pods i accidentally marked it out to be because i'm a tilly right so i am going to go around and get some blue thread um some nice cobalt blue that will match that and um is it cobalt bluey enough well that's very dark hmm more cobalt right how about this one? Oh, look it's a master of disguise on there you can't even see it perfect found my my thread i'm going to go to the machine and i'm going to um change my threads and sew down here all right you want to come with Okay, I feel unsourced. Okay, so I'm just changing the thread. On the back of my um, actual felt is black. It's like somebody, whoever gave it to mum, um, threaded it, uh, like interfaced it on the back with, um, with black. So um, in my bobbin, I'm going to have black, okay? I like to be a bit of a matchy-matchy girl. It's not very often I don't match everything up. And I know I'm going from blue to red to blue to red to blue to red, but um, I think I think just doing it all blue will look nice because it'll look like the red is pasted down, but the blue it disappears on when I can thread it. Okay, see you on the other side. Okay, 
so what I've decided to do um, is use my pinking shears and trim off the edges so I'm going to go down and do all that and in the meantime I'm sitting back and watching uh, Vogmas 8 Day 8 from the Dahlia Society and Kirsten's, uh, Kirsten's on there um, with Phoebe and um, she's got some new fabrics from India and the first one that popped out had animal prints on it had prints of animals in it so I'm quite keen to see what there is because I do like myself a good animal Right, so uh, I'm going to trim it all up. Strike the harp and join the chorus. Fa -la 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 -la. Right, so I am going to put my, um, oh, here it is here. It's all been cut down. Okay, and the little, <laughs> put it in a pocket that sits in the pocket like that. And I'm going to put, I think I'm going to put a big grommet, a big grommet in it. I think it's a 20. I think it's a 20. I could be wrong. I've been known to be wrong before. So what I'm going to do is measure it up to make sure it is a 20. Before I go punching big holes into big things. Here's my 20. Is that my 20? No, that's my 14. No, 20. Right. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's massive. Right. Well, 20 is big, isn't it? So. Ooh, it's not a 20. What if it's a 19? <laughs> 17. 4. Okay, I'm going to try the 17 on it. Otherwise, I'm missing a grommet machine thingamajiggy. Yep, I think it's a 17. I'll better take the 20 cutter off because that hole will be way too big, won't it? Do I have... I've got to have a big one. 12. What size is this one? 18. I mean, know it's a 17, but I'm going to go with that one. Put that back in... <laughs> that. Okay, I've just got stuff everywhere now and I don't like doing that. Oh, that goes in there. Right, I found my, my bits. I know it's annoying that you're watching me put it all away, but I just don't want to get it all muddled up. Then I'll cry. Big tears of cryness. Oops. Oh, that went in there. No, no, no. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Where's the 20 punch? Oh, okay. Remind me to remind me. I have to put the 20 punch away. Because I've taken it out and I'll put it somewhere and there's the 20 punch bag there. That's the grommet bag. That's that. Okay, I'm losing my mind. I'm going to put you on fast forward. grommets because you don't know what you're going to stick it on yet you could put it on dowling and dowling's not very small well, depends on the size of the dowling i must say so that's what happens so you go there i've got a little mess of everything now 
and I will lay it all out and I will hold it up and show you what it looks like when I fill it. And join the chorus. There you go. It hangs off your little thing and your needles are there. Like I said, when you use one, you take it back out of the machine. Looking for one that's open. This one's open. And then you come back and you want to swap your needle around because you want something different. This one is open. It is open. Oh, yeah, it's so open they all fell out. Okay, so in the meantime, when you're at the machine, you've picked your needle out and you put that one in the I'm using, I'm using pocket. Okay, that's what I'm using. That's what's in my machine. Don't overthink it. It's in my machine. Just go to there and say, oh, I've got a, I've got an 11 or a 9. I need a 16. You could take the needle out. Once you take the needle out, you get your 16. You get your packet that's in this pocket. You take it back up to, up to the 14 pocket. Okay, and this needle comes out of the machine. Yep, feels fantastic. I could use that again. Pierce it through. And that's the one you take when you want the next one. That today is my needle caddy. And I think you could probably, if you wanted to, roll that up and take it with you if you go away. All your needles. I just thought of that. <laughs> just saying. Okay, and it's got the big grommets up the top to help you um, hang it up and have it sorted for you so there is no more confusion about your needles, if you can use them, unless you're lazy and you put three in the bottom that are on the side of your blind hammer needle. So there you go. Today, that was my thing today. So let's run down what I have done in the... Um, past week and a bit wow it's been a week and a bit you've had to see my face every day twice yesterday but that was a little bit hysterically funny wasn't it right on the 11th day of vlog miss my true love gave to me a nice needle caddy And a cup of tea. There we go. On the 10th day of vlog, Miss My True Love gave to me two oven mitts. That would help me get out my hot tea. Okay, it's enough singing, okay? So that's 10. 9 was the... Oh, maybe I need the screen. I did the wrong thing. Oh, and I said I was going to get the felt. That's right. So we had our groovy glasses case, and I ended up putting the grommet in um, as per everyone's request. Um, they said it finished it off. I did have one person say, you eh, know, it looks nice. Don't don't buckle the streamline. Fully understand that too. Um, hence the reason I had to ask because I just didn't. Yeah. And then we had the naughty the naughty little owls tie. And we had the macrame, which I don't have down here. Maybe I should just get it and have it for Vlogmas. It's now in the way, so when the, um, my daughter walks around, she'll probably bump into it. She walks around with her eyes, blinkers on her eyes half the time. Okay, so the macrame that's holding the basket up in the lounge room. Then I've got my button leg, leg warmers. Like a tiger. And I have got my carry, my... um pot carrier which I'm going to put the instructions I have not forgotten I just had to do some work today clients want their stuff how interruptible on oh, my busy vlogmas time um and then we had yes the bucket hat which is a beautiful day for a bucket hat requirement today not that I'm in the sun and then we had the hot bowl um, carrier. 
Speaking of bowls, my bowls from Briscoe's haven't shown up yet. I will be opening them in front of you guys. The bowl is there. We have got our wrist warmers. Bit of a contradiction, really, isn't it? And then we have the last day, first day of Vlogmas. Stacey made for me a crazy little moose wine bottle carrier. Uh -huh. If I'd known he was making um, some of the Irish cream for his mum, I would have made a carrier that would have taken that. So, Mr. Christopher, that's your fault. There you go. That's what it all is. So what I'm going to say to you now is stay well, stay warm, stay dry. Keep cool. Keep on sewing. Let's add that other one for fun. No regrets. Just no regrets. Have a good one. See ya.